the brakes on me, myself, and I. Narcissism. And narcissistic tendencies. That's what we want to talk about today. <laughs> Some people need an attitude adjustment. And the point of what I'm saying today is an attitude adjustment. The what's in it for me mentality has plagued Christians their whole life. And it robs you of your joy. It robs you of true victory in Christ. The more you demand attention to yourself and not where that attention is directed, the more narcissistic you become. You could sit there and act like your crap don't stink. Like, look at all the good I do. It doesn't matter. It isn't you. It isn't you that's doing the good. You are just a willing vessel. And until you get that mentality, nothing you do is going to matter. Oh, friend, brothers and sisters, the what's in it for me and attitude has destroyed a lot of witnesses and a lot of testimonies. It's not about you. It's not about what you do. It's about leaving a legacy for Christ. And that comes in the form of what you do is not for you, but for the glory of God. You could sit there all day long, build a beautiful mansion, have all the accolades in this world over that beautiful mansion. But when it comes to Jesus and you go, hey Jesus, look what I built. Did you really build it? No, you used your expertise and those people built it. The same goes with your spiritual temple. You're not the one building that temple. You're cleaning that temple while Christ is building it. God gave you the gift to build that beautiful mansion. God gave you the talents to design it. And to get the right people in there to build it properly. But it wasn't you. It was God giving you the talent. It was God giving you the strength and the mental fortitude to design and build that. You see, friends, too many people lose focus of what's important. And what is important is getting rid of the me, myself, and I attitude. And what would you have me do, oh God? Attitude. Put in its place. What are you giving me the gift to do today, oh God? What gift have you given me to perform this, oh Lord? See, we got to quit throwing the attaboys at the wrong person, ourselves, and throw it to God, who gave us the gifts, who gave us the ideas, who gave us the mental capacity. The master designer chose you for a task. And his masterpiece is at work in you. But you got to swallow that me, myself, and I attitude. you got to swallow that mentality that it's you that it's only you doing it that you did it by yourself because you've done nothing by yourself nothing you, you can do by yourself is going to matter or is it going to be worth something it's going to be a temporary worth so why would you sit there and give yourself that attitude of that oh I did this this is not you you didn't do it. God did it through you. And when you start to think in that mindset, your life is going to change. You're going to feel more and more blessed. And you're going to feel more and more content with yourself. Because with the me, myself, and I attitude comes regret when something doesn't go perfectly fine. Anxiety, depression, Anger all stems from that me, myself, and I attitude. You cannot live.
live that way and succeed. And I'll be the first to tell you that. You cannot have the victory in God with that attitude. You cannot. It doesn't work. God has no place for it. So remember that. That the what's in it for me attitude gets you nowhere. It gets you nowhere and it gets you miserable and wanting more. Nothing will be enough. Nothing will satisfy you. So think about it as we go into prayer this morning. Less of you and more of Jesus. Less of me and more of you, O oh Lord. Have that mentality in your prayer this morning as we give him thanks for waking us up today. Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you. We give you the glory, O oh God. We give you the praise, O oh Lord, for the talent you have given us, O oh God. You've allowed us to wake up another day to get it right with you, O oh Lord. You've given us the peace that passes all understanding, O oh God. Lord, we know your ways are higher than ours. We know your ways are mightier than ours. And nothing we can do is of ourselves but through you, O oh Lord. Lord, we ask you to watch over your children today, O oh Lord. Those battling cancer, migraine, strokes, mysterious illnesses, O oh God. Blindness, both physical and spiritual. Lord, financial troubles. Bless them that they come out of that financial trouble in a better state. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters who are battling court battles right now legal issues, O oh Lord. Give them strength to stand when they have no more energy to stand, O oh God. Give them peace during the turmoil. Give them comfort in the midst of the loss, O oh God. Give them strength. And Lord, those that are lonely, make them feel love. Make them feel joy where there should be no joy. Let not the enemy tell them they are not loved and they are not showed them that you, they are worthy and that they are loved when you stretched out your arms and died for them, oh God. And you died for me. Lord, forgive me for any sins I might have committed, even when I woke. Give me strength and comfort, oh God. Do just move forward in you, oh Lord, and to have courage in you, oh Lord. And give me the peace I need, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Love you guys. God bless you.